Downtown St. Louis, our skyline can be beautiful, showing the Gateway Arch, growing business. But among all this stands the eyesore that is now the Millennium Hotel. It's been sitting empty for years. New today at 430, steps toward possible development at that site. A bill by Alderman could mean they'll be getting new ownership under eminent domain. Boarded up windows and entrances, fading paint and trash all over the place. It was a beautiful bill and made downtown just beautiful. Joyce Collins Catling says the Millennium Hotel that was once a crown jewel of the downtown St. Louis skyline. It looks horrible. It's an eyesore. Has fallen into disrepair after its closure in 2014. Something would be better than that. The Millennium Hotel played host to the Cardinals winter warm up, dozens of conventions and hundreds of hotel rooms. Many St. Louisans also remember Stouffer's top of the riverfront. Wonderful place for dates, for um, high school uh, dinners, uh, just all kinds of fascinating things. Military Appreciation Night here at the ballpark. In 2021, a Cardinals broadcast spotted weeds sprouting from the Millennium's roof. The city told First Lord Four the building was structurally sound, but cited its then owners for several code violations. Last year, crews boarded up dozens of windows and doors of the hotel. St. Louis police told us a rash of burglaries prompted additional security, including more lighting and security guards. Photos from inside last year reveals haunting scenes of the ballroom, indoor pool and bar areas. Spaces beaten and battered by age and occasionally used as practice space for area police department SWAT teams. The Singapore based owners have paid the hotel's property taxes on time more than $3 million over the last 10 years. Would you like to see um, the city put more pressure on the owner of the property? To I do would. Something? I would. First Alert 4 asked the city for comment. We were referred to the St. Louis Development Corporation, who declined comment. Next week's meeting of the Land Reutilization Authority will be a first step in deciding whether to declare the property blighted and authorizing the use of eminent domain by the city. Definitely need to do something with it. Don't just leave it looking like a sad no building that's crying out, help me, do something to me. It really was a remarkable faci facility when it was open. The question does remain, what should be done with the property? Lodging Hospitality Management CEO Bob O'Loughlin tells me he's familiar with the property and the inside condition. He says no amount of money can renovate the building and it can just be knocked down for just a few million dollars. Anything more would be a waste.